Hallo. Hallo Hartmut, Juli hier. Schön, dass ich dich erreiche. Ich brauche mal ganz dringend deine Hilfe. Also so wie immer, wenn du anrufst. Nee, nee, pass auf. Ich habe so viel zu tun und ich soll für meine Englischklasse jetzt ein Referat vorbereiten über New York, weil ich doch da war. Boah, na gut, was soll ich tun? Gut, dass du fragst. Ich schicke dir Bilder und Videos und du kommentierst sie auf Englisch. Du, ich muss jetzt auch mal weitermachen. Danke dir. Tschüss. Na, dann gibt's jetzt noch so ein Intro und dann geht's los. At half past four in the morning, we set off towards the airport. I'll spare you the umpteen photos I took here and start the flight straight away. Finally, I could fly A380. Now only the queen of the skies is missing. Then I'll be satisfied. Around noon, we landed at JFK airport. With the private transfer, we went to Brooklyn. We then quickly went shopping in a small supermarket. In the supermarket, no prices were marked. And that is probably normal here. We slept the rest of the day. Day one in New York. We bought a metro pass for one week and took the metro about 30 minutes to Times Square. Tall buildings, lots of people, colorful lights. Very impressive at first, but you quickly got used to it. So it wasn't anything special more. Armed with a sightseeing pass, we did the hop-on, hop-off bus tour. This was very nice and you could get many impressions of New York. Shopping time! In the evening we passed the Statue of Liberty on the Staten Island Ferry. The advantage is that this is free. From here you have a great view of Manhattan. September 11th. Appropriately for this sad day, it rained the whole time and in the evening even fog came up. We've been out all day and explored the city by foot. I loved being on the Hudson. In the evening we ate in a diner and then continued on foot because we once again took the wrong entrance and the tickets were blocked for 18 minutes. By the way, Tipping 20% is normal here, which is pretty step when you are already paying $30 a dish for pasta and pizza anyway. But that's how we saw the Ghostbusters headquarters, which is actually a fire station. From there we continued towards the 9-11 memorial. The light were really impressive and there was a lot going on at the falls.
Next day, and again, a monkey heat. The walk across the Brooklyn Bridge is worth it, but you should think about water and a hat. Supermarket, Shade, Lunch. The Grand Central Station is really huge, but also here there are no end of tourists. Fifth Avenue, who needs it? After that, we were in Central Park. This is really great, only we were badly bitten after 10 minutes. Next day, night at the Museum Museum or National Museum of Natural Historic. Personally, I really like museums like this. And this one is really huge. But if you expect the museum from the film, you will be disappointed. But the planetarium is pretty cool. Entschuldigung, Herr Dumm Dumm, haben Sie zufällig ein Gum Gum für mich? Ich frage für einen Freund. Nein? Okay, danke. In the afternoon we were in Rockefeller Center. 70 floors above New York. You have a great view from the top of the rock. Next day, off to the Bronx. On Wednesdays you have free entry to the Bronx Zoo, if you can get hold of a free ticket fast enough on Mondays. The zoo itself is really great and I'll show you some impressions right away. But the Americans were really annoying here. Super over the top and silly. Here's an example.
Wow, guckt euch diesen Vogel an. Wow, er ist so gut. Oh mein Gott, ich bin begeistert. Oh Gott, das ist so awesome. Oh mein Gott, habt ihr das gesehen? Kommt alle her, kommt alle her, dieser Vogel. Oh mein Gott, er hat sich bewegt. Oh mein Gott, das ist das Schönste auf der Welt. Oh, das, das habe ich ja nie gesehen. Wow, der Tag, der ist so erfüllt. Der schönste Tag in meinem Leben. In the evening, we went to the Empire State Building, which I liked 100 times better than Top of the Rock. Fluffy! Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win your life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that stack, taking big swings, jam to the back, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag, cause I sing what I mean, and I bring it to the mad life, ain't got time to kill, I got time to fail, I took the red pill, I know life, next day, First, we were at Little Island Park. It's new and really nice. This is right by the Titanic gates. This is where the survivors of the Titanic disaster arrived. They wanna say my name, but they holding back. They wanna say they hate, but they know it's cap. I ain't play no game. After that, we were on the High Line, 2.3 kilometers long, but still very worth seeing. To be a legend instead of something you can forget. I'm living up every breath. I'd rather lead than be led. I'll fill the seats as I spread with every word that I've said.
police protection is very important here. Then it was off to the Intrepid Sea Museum. But only from outside, as the museum is not that nice and you have to pay extra for everything. At the end we were still in a park. Squirrels everywhere here. Apparently, the call didn't go as planned. Today, we went for a walk in Central Park. Last day. As a stopover until we could get to the airport, we went to the largest cemetery in New York. Really very beautiful and impressive. Finally, we departed home. <laughs>